Greetings everybody, this is Domingo with you today. Hope you're doing fantastic. And today we're going to be doing another tutorial. And this is another product from the ACDC line. This is called Luxea. And it is a video editor much like the video studio from ACDC that you've seen on my last video here. So we're just going to run through the basics of this. So this looks very similar to what you've seen on the last video here. And they do have other options here. I think this is a more fully featured editor and this is an unregistered version and un you can have an unlimited free trial of this so the link is in the description below and we're just gonna see what this entails. So you have here the import media section which you've already seen and we're just gonna import a video here. We're just going to use this as an example and then we're going to drag it down in the timeline. This is the same thing that you see and then it'll give us media dimensions do not match the project settings. We'll just click do not show this again and we'll click yes. So this is a 1280 by 720 clip. So that's what we have here. And then what we're going to do is we're just going to leave it as is. Everything else we've seen already but there's a new window that I see here. It's a text window and they have different styles of text so 1 to 28 as you can see. And I think what you do is you click and hold on one of these and drag it down and then it goes on a track and from here you can edit the text however you want. So then that's what we see there. Okay and then it shows a preview up here and then you can drag it all the way down and then you can resize it using this. I think you can make the preview window a little larger than this. I think. Oh, it's not letting me. But they give you a small preview window to look at. And then you can just drag it down like this and then you can change the font with the basic fonts that you see here and then also fonts that you've installed recently. So we're just going to highlight the text and then we're going to select our font. So for example, Road Rage. And then we're going to select our color, blue. And then you can adjust the size. And then the style, we're going to make it a bold one. And you can adjust the alignment and direction. Oh, there's effects here. And they have text effects, that's really nice. And then they have an outline effect. Okay, so this one's a lot more full featured. And then we're just going to set it to black. And then you can set the thickness. Okay, and then you can set the blur. And then the opacity. And then okay, alright, so I can see this is a better featured editor than the last one here. And then you can choose various different styles here. As you can see, we won't get to these styles but there's a lot of styles that you can see here and you can also use different fonts as well and we're just going to go save as custom and then I'm going to just uh, put my name here as a preset now we're going to click OK and then it'll just be listed here as the preset that's really nice I like that so then when you're done that you go back to media and then it will just show us our window here we're just going to Let's just right click and then we're going to freeze frame. Okay, they have a freeze frame function. We're not going to deal with that now. But as you can see here, there's the text that we made with our effects and then our video is there. So I just taught you how to import a clip and to put text in. So they have also an audio recorder here, but we're currently using our video microphone. So we can't really do that. But you can select your microphone listed here and then you can just record audio on a track so it records it on a separate track and you can edit it there and then they have the transitions okay they have a lot more transitions than the other video studio file so we're just going to stretch our timeline here they got the stretch timeline function again and then we're just going to add it by clicking and dragging down and then we're going to do the same with our text and we're going to press play to see what they look like. Okay, that looks really cool. And then we're going to just do a gradient wipe of each of the text, of, of each of the transitions here. 
and then we're just going to play it back. Let's see how it looks like. That looks really awesome. I really like how this has more functionality and there's a bit more play with this. So there's also an audio effects here. Okay, well that's the same thing, fade in and fade out. They have animations here. Okay, so we're just going to get rid of that. Here, let's just, we're just gonna delete something here and then we're just gonna import another video again. And then we're gonna apply these animations. Let's just see how this works. We're just gonna go play here. Okay, well, I don't, I'm not sure if that was supposed to happen, but oh, wait a minute, I think, I think I see what it is. So this is an animation button and you just use the arrow to drag and scale it up. We're just gonna try this again. Oh, I see. Okay, I get it. So it allows you to scale animation. Oh, okay, that's really nice. And they have scale to fit, scale up, scale down, tilt right, tilt left. So they have a little bit more animations here. And then they also have a behavior section where it shows you types of behaviors like boom, drop in. Okay, so we're going to delete these animations and then we're gonna apply these behaviors. So applying behaviors and transitions are the same as what we did before. A Fibonacci spiral in. Okay, let's give that a try. So we're just going to go back and we're gonna play it. Okay, so there's several different transitions here. I'm just gonna delete those and delete that. And then we're just gonna look at just the one. There's the Fibonacci transition. And then they have also strengthen that we see here. That, that's really cool. That'll add a lot of different styles to it. And then we have here filters. So we have here different filters. Wow, look at that. So we're gonna put in an emboss filter and it's embossed, look at that. I wonder if it allows us to edit the different filters. So let's see here. Expand filter, add a clip speed, freeze frame, properties. Okay, so it does add a really nice emboss filter here. And then we're just going to remove that. So we're gonna move all filters. And then we also got TV wall. Wow, that's neat. That's really neat. There's a lot more features on this software than I thought that there would be. And then we're just going to remove all filters again. Then we're gonna do a vertical divide. Wow, that's really neat. That's fantastic. And there's a lot more here. There's a blur background, there's a partial mosaic, TV wall, a vignette, sharpen. There's a lot more, light EQ, photo effect, black and white, RGB. And then they have overlays. They have overlays, oh wow, look at that. So they have a countdown overlay here with a film style. Let's just, let's just apply that. Okay, look at that. That's nice. And then they got a versus game overlay, fireworks. So when you apply each filter, it applies onto different tracks, as you can see here. That's, that's actually really neat. Then they have a game filter where it's like the matrix, as you can see. So they can, so they allow multi-track editing, as I can see here. And I think, yeah, there's 48 of them here. Look at all this. There's a lot of layouts that you can use here. And then there's a wash painting one. Let's just go here and play that. 
Wow. And we're on eight tracks of editing here. And then there's a more button. And then there's your captions. So the captions function is the same. Same as what you've seen before. And then they have advanced effects. Advanced effects. Okay, so this one has chroma key. Whereas the other one that I showed you didn't have the chroma key effect. And then there's clip speed, color LUTs, a mosaic effect, and a color pass effect. Okay, so let's just delete these tracks and we're just going to see how that works. We're just going to disable the track. Let's remove all empty tracks. Okay, so there's our clip again. We're just going to remove all the effects that we've done. All filters. We're going to remove all behaviors. And then we're going to remove everything else. We're going to delete all those and then it allows us to remove all empty tracks, which is really cool. So now we're going to do a color pass. Okay, so it passes it passes all color. Okay. So if there's like bright colors, it'll still be there, which is really cool. And then you can also adjust the clip speed. We're just going to remove all filters. There we go. So clip speed, we're going to move in here. And then it'll show us the properties here. It should show us that. Okay. And then it, oh, there's a snapshot button where it'll say where it's saved. So if you click the snapshot, if you want to use a snapshot for a thumbnail, it makes a sound. Then you click OK. And then it goes full screen here. You can press Escape for that. And then it shows Detached Display Area. OK. And then you can also reattach the display area here. OK, so this is a lot different than what I imagined. And then up here is, I believe, this is your Save button. Yep, that's it. And then we're going to go Test. Then we're going to, let's just go pictures, this PC, videos. We're just going to save that. So that's a save button. And I think this is your login to your account button. So this is your ACDC sign-in data. So you can sign in and log in with your credentials. So I'm really surprised with how this has a lot more features than the last one that I did. And then you can also purchase it by going to the purchase site here. And then we can sign up for a free plan or you can get an individual plan or a home plan. And yeah, you can just get all features, free updates. And then the home plan has all this so that you can get like a monthly basis or all that. I mean, you can do an unlimited free trial. So it's really nice. And you get all these still which is really cool and then you can go to edit and then it shows a lot more and then there's your options for your tools now the thing is with the unregistered version of this software you might have to use a watermark but there's an option to enable or disable the watermark so i don't think i'm worried about that and it's everything that you've seen on the last video and if you haven't seen the last video click on the end of the video or the description below to see the other video that i did and then you can also go view. You can hide the content pane. You can also adjust the display area or timeline and the playback quality. We'll just do like 1 1 16th there. This is like if you have a slow computer and you want it to play back properly. And then there's the help, help contents, and then you see about. And this is the unregistered version. And this software uses AV Blocks technology 2012. Uh, the Luxia video editor is radiant, as you can see. Okay, so I'm pretty much sure that you can also do record up there, and it uses the recording software, as you can see here. So that way you can select your webcam, select your microphone, and also input system audio if you want. So we're not going to do that, so we'll press the X, and then it'll return us to the software. So then let's say you're done and everything. You press produce and share. Okay, so I'm signed in, and as you can see, the output remains the same for the production assistant. 
you can share to YouTube or share to Vimeo. But for this instance, we're going to select common format and we're going to select MP4. Okay, there's a lot more formats that you can save it as here. So we'll select MP4 and then the video frame rate size is 1280 by 720. And then we don't have to worry about all this. I'll just leave this as it is. Then we're going to go next. And then we're just going to type in test. Then you're going to browse the folder to where it'll be saved. And for this, we're just going to select videos. And then we're going to go produce. And then it shows the rendering window here, as you can see. And then once it renders, you can click show file on Windows Explorer. And there it is. There's our test video down there. And this is our Luxea project. It's an ALPX file. So yeah, that is generally how you use Luxea. There's a lot more effects, a lot more filters. There's just a lot more that you can do. And you can sign up for a free plan. Just register for an account and you can use the free plan forever. That's, it's an unlimited free plan trial. I mean, this is, this is a trial, but you get like a full version for free, which is really nice. I mean, you can pay for more stuff, but this generally does a lot already. So I'm really impressed with it. So everybody, thank you so much for watching this tutorial. I hope it helped you. And I've got a few requests already for my next tutorial, and that will be in the coming weeks. So thank you for sending those requests. Don't forget to subscribe for more, and have a great day. See you next time for another video. Bye-bye for now. Thank <laughs> you.